Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about accountability. Somebody needs to be, you know, speaking and, and standing in their truth. Accountability. You, you see, I fucked it in my throat and then, you know, this, this person over here in the park is coughing, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's very much so giving me confirmation that somebody is not able to speak their truth. They feel like accountability is too hard for them. It's very easy. You know, everybody messes up. You got to come from a place of compassion for yourself as well. I mean, the people around you that, that matter are going to love you for your truth, okay, regardless of what it is. If you mess up, get back up, brush yourself off, and keep it moving. If you can't forgive yourself, then that's a you problem. There are childhood wounds that need to happen there. There is insecurities that are reflecting on your ability to be accountable for things. It's okay. People mess up all the time. Just because somebody messes up doesn't mean you cancel them. I don't know. We're in this cancel culture right now and everybody's getting canceled for everything. And I just don't understand it because people mess up. The person next to you can mess up. Now, there are major mistakes that people keep doing and keep doing and keep doing. As long as you decide at some point to change, you can never still live in your head on this mental prison part not being accountable be accountable for what you did be accountable that it's wrong acknowledge that it's wrong and then keep it moving it's just that easy you don't have to stay within your darkness and your depression and your anxiety moment of trying to figure out if somebody will forgive you if something will happen you know if i if i if i own them to this then that means it really happened it did it happened already yikes okay so an example i'll give my sister was talking about this the other day and it was funny because it was like you know, somebody comes in the house and goes, who broke the egg? And we can do all types of things. We can go to shifting the blame like, you know, oh, well, such and such broke the egg yesterday. It's like, okay, but who broke the egg? I mean, you know, not only that, but clean it up. You broke an egg on the floor. It broke. Okay. Clean it up. Well, you know, such, such and such broke an egg yesterday. That's blame. Or then saying, well, I don't know. That's lying. <laughs> because you know who broke it. You know you did it. Instead of saying, oh, I broke the egg. I'm sorry. Let me clean that up. It's just that easy, yo. It's just that easy. And one thing my grandmother used to say all the time, she would be like, if we were talking about anything and she felt like, you know, either she might be wrong or could be wrong in something, she'd be like, well, you know what? I stand corrected. She would tell little Jessica this. I was like eight, nine, 10, 11, whatever. She would just be like, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I stand corrected. It's okay to be stood corrected. It's okay, you know? And there was this older lady talking to this kid saying, I stand corrected. Imagine how much confidence that takes. It takes confidence to be accountable, but you need that in life to be self-sufficient, to, to be a drive-driven person, to just drive yourself into success. Accountability, things happen. Love yourself enough and have enough compassion and forgiveness. That's what love and compassion combined is, is forgiveness, forgiving yourself enough. That something bad happened, okay, moving forward. But you can't pretend like nothing happened, okay? We just gonna walk past this broken egg on the floor? Anyways, it's okay to apologize. Again, like I said, and it's never too late to apologize. So I hope this information helped them bless on accountability. Be accountable for all your actions, no matter how embarrassing they may be, no matter how, uh, you know, hard on yourself you may be for it it's okay we all have mistakes nobody on this earth is perfect even jesus wasn't perfect you guys he came as the example according to the you know the scripture so like i'm just saying y'all gotta just own up to your mistakes it's okay to say i'm sorry i messed up and you know the biggest part about that is trying hard not to do it again and that's still okay try your best not to do it again you don't want to keep offending people in life. You want to have compassion and forgiveness and know that that made you feel bad to even admit that. And because it made you feel so bad to admit it, that, that gives you enough drive and motivation not to do it again. But if you just keep walking through life like nothing ever happens and, you, you know, you just keep shifting blame on people and nothing happened. And, or if something happened and you just like too embarrassed to say, oh, something happened, <sighs> you just got a whole bunch of broken eggs on the floor. Anyways, I hope this information helped and blessed. Clean up your mess and just say, I did it. <laughs> I hope this information helped and blessed. See you all next time.